Hello, I am from group Wired and Wireless Communication and the member consists me as Abdul Hafiz and Bismillah Rania. In this occasion, I would like to tell you about Wired and Wireless Communication. What is Wired? As we know, Wired is the term refers to any physical medium consisting of cables. The cables can be copper wire, twisted pair, or fiber optic. In communication, wired network is used to carry different forms of electrical signals from one end to the other. Wired networks, also called internet networks, are the most common type of local area network, or LAN technology. A wired network is simply a collection of two or more computer, printers, and other devices linked by internet cables. Internet is the fastest network protocol with connection speed of 10 megabyte per second to 100 megabits or higher. Example of wired communication first, twisted pair copper. They are used in internet line cables within homes of an office. They support low to high data rates in order of gigabyte. They are effective only up to a maximum distance of few kilometers or miles, as the signal strength is lost significantly beyond it, this distance. 4. They come in two variants, namely UTP or unsealed twisted pair and STP, sealed twisted pair. Within each variant, there are multiple sub variant based on the thickness of the material like UTP3, UTP5, UTP7, etc. And the last, every home with the local telephone exchange is made of twisted pair copper. The next example is copper coaxial cables. First, coaxial copper cables have an inner copper conductor and outer copper seal separate by a dielectric insulating material to prevent signal loss. Is it primarily used in cable TV networks and as trunk lines between telecommunication equipment? It serves as an internet access line from the home. It supports medium to high data rates. It has much better immunity to noise and hence signal strength is, is retained for longer distance than in copper twisted pair media. The next example is fiber optic cables. Information is transmitted by propagation of optical signals. Example like through fi fiber optic cables and not through electrical or electromagnetic signal. Fiber optic contains like as the name indicates, fiber optic cables are made of very thin strands of glass, the name called silica. As they support very high data rates, fiber optic lines are used as WAN backbone and trunk lines between data exchange equipment. They are also used for accessing internet from home through FTTH or fiber to the home lines. Additionally, they are used even for LAN environment with different LAN technologies like fast internet, gigabit internet, etc. using optical links at the physical layer. Three basic network topologies. The first topology is the star network. The star network, a general more simplistic type of topology, has one central hub that connects to three or more computers than the ability to network not printers. This type can be used for small businessmen, for small business and even home home network. This is very useful for application where some processing must be centralized and some must be performed locally. The major disadvantage is the star is it vulnerable. Data must pass through one central host computer and if the host fails, the entire network will fail. The next topology is the bus network. It has a no central computer and all computers are linked on a single circuit. Like the picture from bottom left, 
This type broadcast signals in all directions and it uses special software to identify which computer gets what signal. When this expenses with this type of network is that only one signal can be sent at one time. If two signals are sent at the same time, they will collide and the signal will fall to reach its destination. And the last one advantage is there is no central computer. So if one computer goes down, others will not be affected and we will be able to send message to one another. The last topology is the ring network. The ring network does not rely on a central host computer either. Each computer in the network can communicate directly with any other computer, and each processes in or its own application independently. And the last, a ring network forms a closed loop, and data is sent in one direction only. And if a computer in the network fails, the data is still stable to be transmitted. Advantage and disadvantage. From there, that table in here. From specification, wired network, and wireless network. So the first parameter is speed and operation. In the wired network, the speed of operation is higher. In the wireless network, lower compared to wired networks, but advanced wireless technologies such as LTE, LTEA, and WLAN 11 at will make it possible to achieve speed per equivalent to wire network. And the second parameter is system bandwidth. In the wired network, system bandwidth is higher. In the wireless network, system bandwidth is low as frequency spectrum is very scarce resource. And the third parameter is cost. Wired network is less as cables are not expensive. And the, in the wireless network, more are wireless subscriber station, wireless router, wireless access points, and adapter are expensive. And the fourth parameter is installation. Where network is where network is installation is cumbersome and it requires more time to install it. In the wireless network, the wireless network installation is easy and it correct requires less time. And the fifth parameter is mobility. Where the network is limited as it operates in the area covered by connected system with the wired network. And wireless network is not limited as it operates in the entire wireless network coverage. Sixth parameter, transmission medium. In the wired network, copper wires optical fiber cables ethernet and in the wireless network em wave or radio wave or infrared and the seven specification network coverage extension in the wired network network coverage extension is requires hub and switch for network coverage limit extension in the wireless network network coverage extension is more area is covered by wireless base station which are connected to one another. The next parameter, application. In the wired network, application is LAN or Internet. In the wireless network, application is WLAN, WPAN, infrared and cellular like our cell phone. The next parameter is channel interference and signal power loss. In wired network, the channel interference and signal network loss is interference is less as one wired network will not affect the other. In the wireless network, interference is higher due the obstacles between wireless transmitter and receivers. In the next specification. Quality of service, wired network, better, wired what else, network, Inter poor due to high value of jitter and delay in connection setup. The next parameter is reality. Wired network 
y es high compared to whereas counterpart as manufactured cables have a higher performance due to the system of wire releasing shears in the wireless network reasonably high. This is due to the failure of router will affect the entire network. There are activity or category from wireless network and wired network. First category, freedom of movement for users. In wireless network, users can access network from anywhere within range. In the wired network, users location limited by need to use cable and or connect to airport. In the setting files category, wireless network is easier with wireless network as you don't need to be cabled to network, though transfer speed may be slower. In the wired network, generally less convenient as you have to be cabled in, but transfer speeds often faster. The second, the third category is cables. Whereas network for less complicated, destructive, and untidy cable needed. In the wired network, lots of cables and ports needed, which can be a headache to us. And the fourth category is business. The wireless network for business dealing with public customers like and often expects wireless, so always can be increased in cost. Wired network is where network are not convenient for public use, but sometimes acceptable for a traditional office. In the connection speeds, wireless network usually slower than wired. In the wired network, usually faster than wireless. In the security category, wireless network less secure than wired, but bandwidth and information can be sometimes be accessed. In the wired network, more secure than wireless. The last category is setup. Wireless network is upgrading to a wireless network can be difficult and expensive. In the wire wired network can also be difficult and expensive to set up. That's it from me, Abdul Hafiz, and will be explain when my partner will be explain about the wireless network in the next slide. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I would like to present about wireless network. Firstly, I would like to tell you the definition of wireless. Wireless allows for device to be shared without networking cable, which increase mobility but decrease range. Use high frequency radio waves rather than wires to communicate between nodes. This is another option for home or business networking. Individuals and organizations can use this option to expand their exciting wire network. Wired network are reliable, but when interfered with, it can reduce the range and the quality of the signal. There are two main types of wireless networking. First, peer-to-peer -peer or ad hoc, and second, infrastructure. First, peer-to-peer -peer or ad hoc. Consists of number of computers each equipped with a wireless networking interface card. Each computer can communicate directly with all the of the other wireless enabled computers. They can share files and printers this way, but may not be able not to access where LAN research unless one of the computers acts as a bridge to the wired LAN using special software. This is the picture of peer-to-peer peer or ad hoc wireless network. Um, you can see on this picture there are three computers and each of them makes connection between the other and makes a line. And if we connect each of them, we can see the line like a triangle. Okay, the second is infrastructure wireless network. Um, it is consists of an access point or a base station. In this type of network, the access point acts like a hub, providing connectivity for the wireless computer. It can connect 
or bridge the wireless LAN to a wired LAN. Allowing wireless computer access to LAN research such as file research or exciting internet connectivity. Okay, this is the picture of infrastructure wireless network. You can see it. Um, this is consists of five computer in this example, and there is one hardware access point and from the hardware access point it's connect to wire ethernet network for two computers and the other computers is a wireless network there are four basic types of transmission standards for wireless networking first is a 2.11 is operate of the 2.4 gigahertz and can transmit up to one or two megabyte per second second 802.11a is operates of 5 gigahertz frequency and can transmit up to 54 megabyte per second third is 802.11b is operate of 2.4 giga hours eh i mean gigahertz and can transmit 11 megabyte per second and the last is 802.11g is operate of 2.4 gigahertz frequency and can transmit up to 54 megabyte per second the difference between these four types are connection speed and the radio frequency okay now um, we talk about wireless transmission media wireless transmission media refers to the methods of carrying data through the air there are many wireless transmission media um, there are four wireless transmission media and the first is infrared the second is radio the third is microwave the fourth is satellites the first is infrared a wireless transmission medium that carries data via light beams transmitter and receiver must be in line of sight an air day port is needed to use infrared with a computer um, you can see this is the picture of infrared you can see the wave with red color that's called infrared the second is radio radio is a wireless transmission medium that carries data via radio frequency signals wireless LANS in a home or business are one type of radio technology radio, radio signals can be long range between cities or regions and short range within a building radio signals are susceptible to noise and electric interference you can see the picture on the powerpoint that's the example of the radio the third is microwave. Microwave are high frequency radio wave. Mass of long distance telephone service is carried by microwave. Microwave travel in a straight line. Microwave relay stations are built about 30 miles apart. You can see the picture of microwave on the picture uh, on the PowerPoint, sorry. Okay. Next is satellites. Satellites are microwave relay stations suspended in space. So it is like a microwave, but it's placed in space. They are positioned in geosynchronous orbits. Satellites use microwave signal to transmit data to and from Earth-based microwave relay stations. 
So like I said before, we can conclude the satellites like microwave, but it plays in space. So that all, that's all the wireless transmission media. And now we change the explanation about wired and wireless home networks. Wired home network use coaxial cable, telephone wire, cat5 wires, or the home's electric power wiring. Wireless home networks use radio signals. Um, from this explanation, we can conclude that where home networks use wire to transmit signals and wireless home networks use radio signals. For the picture, you can see on the PowerPoint um, at the first picture is wireless home network and the second is that's two and under that picture is wired home networks you can see the difference there is a cable on wired network and there is no cable on wired network okay the next is wired and wireless application first we can see the application on teleconferencing this is the simplest wire application for voice communication a telephone is used to conduct a conference between more than two people who are separated by a distance and the second application is video conferencing two or more people can have a face-to-face -face meeting when they are geographically separated cameras a computer and video conferencing software are used to conduct the conference um, okay the next is telecommuting this is performing work at home while being linked to the office by telecommunications equipped computers the advantage of telecommuting include not having to commute flexible hours more family time and familiar surroundings and the last is work group computing this is a group of individuals working together on a text who are able to communicate and collaborate by way of computers connected to a network group where software is used by work groups okay from this slide you can see the difference between wired network and wireless network actually there are many types um, that we can use to spare between wired and wireless network and first we can see from the speed of operation wired network is higher than wireless network wireless network lower compared to wire network but advantage wires technology such as LTA, LTEA, and WLANI will make it possible to a safe speed par equivalent to wired network. And the second we can see from the system bandwidth. The wired network is higher than wireless network. Wireless network low as frequency spectrum is very scarce resource. And the third, we can see from the cost. Wired network is less as cable are not expensive. And wireless network, more as wireless subscribers stations, wireless routers, wireless access point, and adapters are expensive. So we can conclude from this that wireless network is more expensive than wired network. Um, the next we can see the difference between wire network and wireless network for from installation wired network installation is cumbersome and it requires more time wireless network installation is easy and it requires less time so from the installation wireless network is more easy than wired network and 
the next we can see from the mobility. The wired network is limited as it operates in the area conferred by connected system with the wired network and the wires network is not limited as it operates in the entire wireless network coverage so from the mobility wires network is better than wired network and the next we can see from the transmission medium wired network is super wires optical fiber cables ethernet and the wireless network is EM wave or radio wave or infrared um, from this we can conclude that wire network is used wires of course and the wireless network use the wave and the next we can see the difference from network coverage extension wired network requires hubs and switch for network coverage limit extension and wireless network more area is covered by wireless base stations which are connected to the another to the to one another and the next we can see from the applications wired network is LAN or Ethernet and MAN and wireless network is WLAN WPAN or zip P blooded infrared cellular there are GSM CDMA and LTE the next we can see the channels interference and signal power loss the wired network interference is less as one wired network will not affect the other and the wireless network interference is higher due to obstacles between wireless transmitter and receiver for example weather condition reflection from walls etc and the next we can see from the quality of service or QoS the wired network is better than the wireless network the wired network is poor due to high value of jitter and delay in connection setup and the, ne the next we can see from reliability, rea reliability the wired network is high compared to wireless counterpart as manufactured cables have higher performance due to existence of wired technology since years and the wireless network reasonably high this is due to failure of router will affect the entire network okay that's all my explanation about wireless network thank you very much for watching and thank you for your nice attention I'm sorry if I made mistakes and the last I say wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh